Today, we're going to go over how to scrape high quality phone numbers, mobile phone numbers of your prospects so you can do more cold calls, more voicemails, and more text messages. I did a video testing every single lead list tool I could possibly find, but that video was more optimized for finding emails. But trying to find high quality phone numbers is usually a completely different strategy. There's a couple different ways of scraping. One way is with scraping a business data. So it's basically just a broad overall data of a specific business. So let's just say plumbers in Miami, it'll give you the phone numbers and emails of those companies. But it's not usually giving you the person's name, the person that owns that company or their personal data. And so for that, they have personal data scraping, which is usually you scraping from LinkedIn or other data sources, and it'll scrape the personal phone number of the person that owns the business. Now, how to scrape the individual really depends on the industry you're reaching out to. So you have to put yourself into their shoes. So for example, as a plumber, you probably made the website yourself. You probably, you just got started. You put everything up yourself. You probably put up a Facebook page and then you let it run. And on that Facebook page, you probably put your personal phone number on there or on the website, you probably put your personal phone number because you want to take the calls yourself and you're the plumber, you're the one man band. But a law firm is a lot different where they have a secretary or someone that's at a front desk. They have landlines. They have things already a place established. Same with like doctors or dentists. They usually don't have their personal data on the website. You usually can't find the personal phone number of the dentist on their website. And so for that, you need personal data scraping and you need to find the specific dentist and their specific phone number. So we're going to go over smaller, more local businesses first. If you're trying to reach out to them, I recommend a tool called Leads Gorilla. And a second to that option it would be D7 Lead Finder. D7 Lead Finder is a very basic tool, but you you get a lot out of it in terms of the price that you're paying. It's also good depending on the nature of targeting. So if you're targeting law firms, it might not be the best tool for you. But if you're targeting, let's just say dunk removal, which is what I use for this example, I got 230 phone numbers and I had 91 mobile phone numbers out of that, which is 39% mobile phone number rate. That might not sound very good, but it is pretty good. Usually between 40 and 60% is what we're looking for uh, in terms of the mobile phone number hit rate. I guess. Now, again, it depends on the industry that you're targeting. So I, I pulled another list of attorneys. It gave me a list of hundreds of phone numbers, but only 10% of them were mobile phone numbers. Two things to note. I'm not getting paid by any of these tools. So my opinion is unbiased here. And then two, I use a tool called clearoutphone.io to validate the phone numbers. It shows me which ones are mobile phone numbers and which ones are landline. All right, so this other tool I like using a little more, it's Leads Gorilla. It's a little different. It gives you two options in terms of scraping. One option is scraping from Facebook business pages. The other option is scraping from just Google. Now I noticed that usually scraping from Facebook gives you higher quality data just because usually if you're setting up a Facebook business page, it's usually the owner that's setting that up. They're usually putting in their personal data. So their personal email, their personal phone number into that Facebook business page. And so when I scraped a list of junk removal companies, I got 126 phone numbers and 76 of those phone numbers were mobile verified. Now setting up leads grill, it was kind of annoying uh, up front. Like you had to set up some sort of Google cloud API thing. So if you're not very tech savvy, it's kind of hard to use. I would just recommend D7 lead finder. D7 lead finder is super simple, super easy to use. I also pulled multiple lists with leads grill just to see what the average was on average. I found that 50% of the phone numbers are mobile verified if it's a local business, one man band type business. I also tried pulling a list of attorneys and found that only 5% of them were mobile verified. So again, depends on the industry. Okay, so now that we have local businesses out of the way, how do we pull high quality phone numbers of individuals like CEOs, owners, founders, high value prospects and companies? Personal data scraping is usually just going on LinkedIn, searching your specific audience using your criteria, and then using specific scraping tools to find your prospects phone numbers. The tools I recommend for this is LeadRocks and then also SalesQL. Now, LeadRocks is a bit bittersweet. I'm not gonna make this extremely technical, but basically if you buy it directly from their website, it's about three cents per contact. I don't think that's very worth it. Three cents is pretty expensive per contact. It also only works on a LinkedIn search, not LinkedIn Sales Navigator, but you have to buy LinkedIn Sales Navigator in order to use the LinkedIn search. Usually it's fine though. You're just basically gonna go onto LinkedIn and find your audience by using the keyword search up at the top, then go to people, then search a specific location. Then you can go into all filters, scroll all the way down to titles and find the titles there in the new search owner or founder or CEO to find owners, founders, and CEOs of those specific companies. You can only scrape a thousand at a time. And so you have to segment the market into several different lists. So you have to do like Florida and scrape a thousand from Florida and then Ohio, and then scrape a thousand from Ohio. You can download the Chrome extension and it'll scrape everybody for you. You can take that list, upload it to LeadRocks, and you'll get a ton of phone numbers and emails and data uh, with the list that you scraped. The problem is, is that only 25% of the emails are valid. So it's not very good for emails at all but it is very good for phone numbers. Now it'll only match about 40% of the people in terms of emails. So it'll give you, let's just say if you scrape a thousand people, we'll get you about 400 emails and then only 15% of them will have phone numbers. So out of a thousand people, you'll only get about 150 phone numbers and about 60% of those phone numbers are going to be valid. So about only a hundred valid phone numbers out of the thousand total contacts that you scrape. So here's a list of a thousand contacts that I scraped, got 152 phone numbers, 104 of them were valid. So that's 68% valid phone number rate. So honestly, that isn't the best, but there isn't a lot of tools that are going to give you really high quality phone numbers. And so this one is actually somewhat worth it 
based on the price. Now, back to price. The only way that I recommend this is if you buy it on AppSumo. So AppSumo right here, I, have an, I bought this hat from AppSumo. I don't get paid from AppSumo. I don't know why I don't get paid. I promote them so much, but AppSumo is a platform where you can buy softwares one time. So you buy it for a one-time fee. So sometimes it's on like every three months or so, it'll come on AppSumo and it'll come on for about $79. You get 5,000 credits uh, per month for $79 one time. So you pay one time, but you get credits per month. And so in the long term, it's a lot cheaper just to buy this deal on AppSumo. So when LeadRocks comes out on AppSumo, I think it's worth it if you're just looking for a ton of mobile phone numbers for whatever industry you're trying to target. But other than that, I wouldn't buy it directly from their website. And I would honestly just recommend using this other tool. Now this other tool is SalesQL. It is a little bit better. Uh, their top tier package is $119 for 10,000 credits, which is about 1.2 cents per credit. It gives you good emails and phone numbers. So it's like the best. What I don't like about it is it is a little slow when scraping. It takes a little bit. Also, you can only scrape 400 contacts per day using their Chrome extension. The Chrome extension does work really well. It also, you can scrape from Sales Navigator, which is awesome. I scraped a list of 300 contacts. 209 of them had phone numbers, which is great. 83 of those were mobile verified. So that's 39% mobile verified rate. So theoretically, you can scrape 1,000 people. I don't really know why I just didn't scrape 1,000 people. <laughs> but if I did scrape 1,000 people, I should get about 600 phone numbers. And about 240 of those would be verified, which is a lot better than LeadRocks. And it is a little cheaper than LeadRocks, at least in the short term. If you're using these phone numbers to do cold calling or voicemails or text campaigns, I have systems that I use to consistently get 120 sales calls per month with these phone numbers. So if you're interested in something like that, you can book a call with my team below where I'll help you set up those systems and give you access to all the tools that you need. I'll also coach you one-on-one -on -one, and if it doesn't work, you don't pay anything. So if you're interested, you can book a call below. I'll talk to you guys soon.